Okay, James, I'm going to show you an attempt here how I put this together. So, you know, I'm not just making it up. How generally easy this should be to put together. So this is everything that I need to make retro pie. What I did here is I got the Vilross Raspberry Pi Basic Starter Kit. I did not need an SD card. I have one right here, 32 gigabyte. And uh, by the way, this one is already set up with RetroPie and formatted and everything. I'm not going to be doing that now. Um, and then I use these um, HDMI to VGA with audio adapters so that I can do a connection kind of like this. That's a little dusty, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, a connection kind of like this. Um, HDMI output from the Pi into the adapter, the audio output into speakers, and the VGA, of course, into just monitor. Okay, so I opened up the bag here, by the way, with my very first Cub Scout knife. Okay. So here we go, let's see what's inside this. It's hard to do. We have a, this is not focusing. Yeah. 2.5 amp uh, cord, hang on. Just does not want to focus. There we go. So it's recommended for the Raspberry Pi to use the 5 volt 2.5 amp or 2500 milliamp um, actual power adapters. The reason is if you look at this cord. You can see how much thicker that is. It's just got a lot more heft to it um, for power. Okay, next we have something. What is this? Oh, here it is. My very first Raspberry Pi. from element 14 okay this is having trouble wireless and bluetooth over that in a minute we all know what's in that all right and uh oh i didn't um like the package i got was because i wanted it just i didn't need an sd card i didn't need anything fancy i just wanted power and uh, the pie and the case and specifically this case I just really liked this case look this black kind of um, this looks more like a component than if it was see-through or, or something um, and it came with heat sinks okay and they just stick on so there's my kit that's that's that so that all came as one kit. I want to say it was um, between fifty and sixty dollars. Okay, Kano's, uh, Kana, 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 Kana. I think Kana kits um, kept coming up with. I couldn't get this combination in Kana kits. Um, so, or the case either. Let's see. And that's it. That's all that's in there. Done. Okay, so this is the case. Right. That it comes with. So what you do is uh, you take the sides off. Take the other side off. 
Okay, this I'm going to have to do with both hands. And there you go. I just pulled them apart. You just pull the top and bottom apart, you'll feel them snap apart. There's a little snap to it, and it's them coming apart. It also comes with rubber feet, which I appreciate very much. I was actually concerned with that, so. Okay, those are the parts. Now I'll put the pie in place. <laughs> so, <laughs> I just got to show you something that is amazing. This, oops, this is how the Raspberry Pi I got came out of the box. <laughs> I've never seen this before. It is, it's just like a, a, a little carry out bag of pie. <laughs> it's, uh, that's, that's funny. Here it is. Uh, my first single board computer. Uh, I have a feeling there will be many of these in my future. We've all seen it, of course. GPIO pins are pretty. Look at that. Okay. All right. HDMI. Audio video. Ethernet, USB. And where is the power? There it is. It's hard. To, I'm looking through the screen, and it was really difficult to see. There we go. Okay. Okay. So I uh, just put it in, and now I'm just going to push it down into place carefully. I guess. Oh, I see. There's little posts. There we go. Just kind of literally friction pushes into place. That was easy. Okay, I just went ahead and put it all together. It just snaps back on, the sides pop on, just like you took it apart. And there it is. Now that I have it in my hand, after watching a thousand videos on it, what do I think? I think it's strange. Okay, that is the SD card slot. There. USB, Ethernet, power, HDMI, and audio video. Bill Ross. I gotta put the rubber sheet on. I'll do that later. <coughs> I'm just gonna put the SD card in place. I don't think I can do it with one hand though. And it's interesting. The one thing I didn't think about when I was looking for cases or thinking about cases was where the SD card slot was. And uh, it goes in um, it's not quite what I expected. It just kind of slides in place. Um, okay, next. I'm going to get ready to power it up. Alright, there's a little bit of cable here. Alright, James, you wanted to know if the uh, audio coming off the Pi would play the HDMI signal. Because I was using the HDMI signal directly out of the um, converter. So let's see, and um, I hope this does work, actually. Other, yeah, we'll see. 